Hey, welcome to the podcasting studio here. I'm actually hiding down here from the rest of the team because as you can see, I've got the white screen of death. I've actually broken our website, wpelevation.com. I don't know how I did it. Well, I do actually. I was cowboy coding on the live site, which is a big no-no. I can't believe after all these years I've still done it. The truth is that you should never cowboy code on a live site. You should also, you should always code on your local environment, right? But setting up a local environment on your laptop is really tricky and hard work. Well, it was until recently I discovered Local by Flywheel, which makes it really easy. And now there is absolutely no excuse to be cowboy coding, so you can code on your local site and still leave your live site well intact. So come with me now down to the WPE video studio and I'll show you how to set up Local by Flywheel. Okay, so here we are with Local by Flywheel opened up on my laptop here. You can see I have a couple of websites already installed, one for my Elementor demos that we've been making and one for the WP Elevation website. And if I click the Add Local Site button, I'm gonna create a new site here and I'm gonna call it uh, WPE Studio, which is the studio that we're in right now. And under the advanced options, I can choose a couple of things. I can change the domain name. I'm just gonna take the dash out of that domain name to make it easy shows me the local path where all the files are going to be kept on my computer and it allows me to choose a site from a blueprint. In this case, I'm not going to use a blueprint, which is a pre-configured site that I may have set up previously and saved as a blueprint. It's then going to tell me the preferred setup for my PHP and MySQL uh, web server, um, or I can choose a custom setup there if I want to, to match the hosting environment that I'm going to push this to live. In my case, I'm just going to use the local preferred setup. I click on continue. I'm going to add my username and password that I want for the WordPress administrator. And I'm also going to change the email address there to be my actual wpelevation.com email. And under the advanced options, I can choose whether or not this is a WordPress multi-site, in which my case it is not. And then I'm going to click the add site button and Flywheel, local by Flywheel will ask me for my admin password for my computer because it wants to write some information to the hosts file. And within a couple of seconds, you can see I have my new website set up for the WPE Studio. Uh, it tells me the information about the WordPress version, the PHP, the MySQL version, uh, and also where the site is hosted locally. Uh, I can also have a look at the database information for port numbers and IP addresses. And under SSL, I'm going to click the Trust button because I want to access my site under the HTTPS protocol. protocol. And again, I need to put in my admin password for my computer. And under Utilities is where Mailhog lives. So any emails sent from the local website will appear in the Mailhog log that I can double check. Now I'm going to view the site, and there it is. Look at that. Voila! Within a, just a few seconds, I have a brand new WordPress website there out of the box with the standard post and comments and ready for me to start developing. I'm then going to click on the Admin button, and it takes me to the login screen. I'm going to put in the username and the password that I, that I stipulated earlier and click login, and I am logged into my brand new WordPress admin dashboard uh, to start developing and start coding. This is a beautiful thing and saves me a lot of time moving forward. The idea here is, of course, that I'm developing this locally and that I'm going to push it to my live environment once I'm ready to show it to the, the client. And you can see here that I can have as many websites as I want set up, um, my Elementor demos and my WP Elevation toy box that I'm playing with at the moment. I'll just click on the WP Elevation one. Uh, this is a migration that I pulled down off our live server and I'm just playing around with some ideas, just getting to know how to use some different tools, which is kind of cool. I can have as many websites set up in local as I want. And uh, we're gonna make another video very soon where we'll show you how to push these websites from your local environment here using Local by Flywheel and how to push them up to your live hosting environment and Flywheel. So this will help you avoid the white screen of death. It will help you do any fancy cowboy coding on your client's live sites and accidentally break it. Uh, there is a, an option with Flywheel where you can connect your Flywheel hosting account to Local by Flywheel. You can pull your client's live website down off their server or into Local by Flywheel and have it set up on your local machine. You can develop until your heart's content, add new page templates, do whatever it is you want to do in terms of your development work, and then you can push your local site back up to the live site. Uh, database merging and database syncing is a whole other conversation for another video for another time, but we will show you a video shortly uh, where we will push the uh, website that you've developed locally 
up to your live environment to show your client. And this is perfect if you're building a website for a brand new client who doesn't have a website at all. It allows you to develop offline. You don't need a fast internet connection. It allows you to develop while you're traveling or at an airplane or sitting in an airport or doing whatever it is you're doing without having to rely on an internet connection to make it all happen. So that's Local by Flywheel. I hope that helps you speed up your development productivity and your workflow. Please leave us a comment and tell us if you're using Local by Flywheel what your experience has been, if you've got anything that we missed here or any comments or any questions about running your WordPress consulting business, please hit us up in the comments, subscribe and click the bell to get notified when we release new how-to videos, which we do on a very regular basis and, and tell us what you'd like to learn next. Look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Until then, I'm Troy Dean, go Elevate.